Hi, this is Kim from Dorothy's Daughter. Welcome to Friday Sewing School. I'd just like to say uh, a heartfelt thank you again to all my new subscribers. Um, it just the channel seems to be growing every day and um, I am humbly grateful. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button below and um, click the bell if you'd like to be notified when I post new videos. All right, so um, we have been doing Friday Sewing School for about four months and um, so we've had, I, I didn't count how many lessons, but about four months worth of Fridays. And I started off with a checklist, if you remember. I think it ended up being like 51 or 52 things. It wasn't just 50, it was gonna be 50, but there were things I couldn't leave off. Leave off. So this was the, our, our basic list of skills. And I wanted to today, do today is to go ahead and um, go through and see which things we have accomplished already and which things we still have yet to tackle. So um, if you haven't printed this yet, you can go to the description box below and you can, uh, there's a link there and you can print your own copy so that you can also check yours off. I'm going to cut to um, a screenshot recording from my iPad um, where I checked off the things we have done. All right, so, so I'll be back after that to chat with you about the upcoming sew along. Okay, so here is the basic skills uh, checklist that we started off at the beginning of Friday Sewing School. So I was going to um, go ahead and go through this list and see what we've covered and what we still need to cover, just as a kind of assessment to see um, how far we've come and plan ahead for the future in, or in order to um, make Friday Sewing School the best it can be for you. So I'm going to start here. We did do basic skills for a beginner, basic tools for a beginner. So starting at the beginning here, we, we did do basic tools for a beginner. We did sewing machine basics. We did do um, cover choosing a sewing machine. We covered needles and thread. We covered feet, although we will be doing more advanced feet as time goes on. We uh, covered sewing straight and curved line. Remember, we had our practice sheets, and if you need to go, I'm going to link all of those documents, um, including this one, um, below in the description for you in case you um, want to go back to them. Um, we have covered measuring ourselves, and of course we will be adding to that also as time goes on. Um, we've covered choosing a pattern, um, but we really haven't gotten in too much to the um, differences between the indie patterns and commercial patterns, so I'm going to hold off on checking that one because we're going to be doing a commercial pattern with the skirt, so I think then we will be able to um, kind of uh, see the differences between them. Um, we've been talking about choosing fabrics for the makes we've had. Um, we've talked about uh, knits versus woven. Um, we've talked about weight. Um, we've talked about pre-washing. I think, I think we've covered it. Um, we haven't talked too much about natural versus synthetic. Um, I'm going to leave that one unchecked as well because I think we could probably go into that a little deeper. Um, grain line and bias we've talked about. We've talked about interfacing, however, we haven't gone through all the different types, so I'm going to leave that one unchecked. We have I've demonstrated assembling a PDF pattern, so y'all have done that with the cadence. Um, reading the pattern, we have um, gone ahead and transferred pattern markings like notches and darts. Um, and the uh, stitch lines, grain bias, seam allowance. I'm also going to hold off on this because I want you to see it on a commercial pattern as well as an indie pattern. Checking for fit, we've done a lot of. Obviously, that's going to get more advanced as time goes on. We've not done a full bust adjustment yes, yet, but we will. Um, lengthening the torso, I don't think I've shown that to you yet, so I will do that. Um, Oops. Hang on, let me. We haven't done lengthening torso yet. Or a sway back adjustment. We'll be doing, I did kind of show you when I did my jeans, um, but that wasn't in Friday Sewing School video, but um, I think I'll leave that unchecked as well. Lowering bust darts, we've done. Um, we've done blending sizes. Um, we have done making a muslin. I've talked 
and demonstrated about cutting out a pattern. We've done darts. Hopefully by now you know the importance of pressing. I think I, I probably harp on it every time I do a video. Um, <clears throat> sewing and finishing a seam we've done. Um, we haven't done a gathering, so I'm going to leave that one not in, at least in a project. We've done facings. We haven't done making bias tape yet, so that's something. Um, we haven't done any zippers yet or a fly front. Um, let's see, I guess the bodice was faced on the cadence, so we'll leave that unchecked as well. Um, as far as buttons and buttonholes, we have not done those yet either. Um, <clears throat> I did talk about all the finishing, but I have not demonstrated the French or the Hong Kong seams yet, so I'm going to leave that one unchecked. Um, I think we've talked about hemming, but I haven't talked about horse hair or, um, I did, I did demonstrate a blind hem. Um, I'm going to wait till we go over horse hair. That's really nice on a little girl's dress if you want it to be like really bouncy. Um, we've done top stitching. We've talked about choosing knits. We did basics of choosing a knit. We've fitted a knit pattern. We've done bands. Hang on, I kind of made that line too low. We've done a knit, a knit neck band, knit neck band. Say that four times fast. Um, we have not talked about the serger at all. We've done sewing a knit, sewing a knit seam. I've done a double needle. Um, we haven't done pockets. Um, I haven't I haven't shown anything on a border yet, so I'll leave that one unchecked. Um, I have done some matching stripes, um, but not plaids, so I'm going to leave that one unchecked as well because I think we can go into that more. And we've not done bathing suits or a coat yet. So we are, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 4, 25, 26, 27, 28. So we're a little more than halfway there on our skills list, and it's only been four months. So um, if you have mastered the things we've gotten to so far, um, you can see that you have made quite an accomplishment. So this helps me also um, to plan going forward here to be able to make sure that I cover all these things. And obviously, there are more skills and probably some we've covered that aren't on this list. Um, I was just trying to make sure we had the basics. Um, we're going to be adding um, more lists to this as we go on because obviously um, by the end of a year, my goal was by the end of this year, not this year, but by the end of a year, um, that we would have been through all of these things. So if you followed along up till now, you can feel very proud of yourself um, because I think we've done really well. And I will have this document linked below if you want to um, download a copy and keep track for yourself. Um, if there's you know, more videos you need to go back and watch or um, at least you'll know what's been covered in the videos and what hasn't. Okay, I hope that helped um, just kind of as a where are we um, time. All right, so Simplicity 8795, we are going to make the pencil skirt from this pattern and it features a faced waistband and there are short and longer lengths. And um, I think it's gonna be a great place to start. Um, one of the big things I wanted to tackle, as you saw in our basic skills list, we have not done any zippers yet. So I wanted to tackle that. Um, so you are gonna need your fabric. Um, I'm looking at the back of the envelope. Um, I actually printed it off, but um, you can look, if you don't have your pattern yet, you can, you can get the, look at the back of the envelope on Simplicity's website and it will tell you everything that you need. So what we need for this, I'm not, you can pick whatever view you want to do, whether you want to do the short or the long skirt. I'm going to do um, the shorter skirt, view B, and that falls about an inch below, weight, uh, below the waist, so that's about at our natural waistline. 
and um, I chose this um, it's like a jacquard but it's a twill so it has like a damask pattern in the uh, and it's like dark green and black and I, I've had this for a while I bought it at an expo I think Haberman fabrics booth in Novi a couple years ago and so um, I have a yard of this so I'm gonna make the short version out of this um, and I think it'll be a really nice uh, skirt to wear with a black top or um, you know even with a cardigan or something like that so um, so yeah so um, view B so for that I need seven eighths of a yard because this is 60 inches wide um, now depending on your fabric if you you will need with this pattern anywhere from uh, seven eighths of a yard to two and a quarter depending on the size and the view that you're gonna make so um, you know you can you can look at the back of the pattern envelope I'm gonna show it right here so you can see um, you can choose your size and then as you scroll down a little bit you'll see view A view B and then you can go across to your size and see how much fabric you will need also we are going to need thread and a seven inch invisible zipper. And then we're going to need, um, let's see, we don't need a button because that's view C and D, which is for the jacket. So all we need is our thread and a zipper. And the fabric that you choose, um, it has some suggested fabrics there. Um, it suggests um, brocades, corduroy, crepe, jacquards, lightweight denim, satin, tweed, twill, velvet, lightweight wool, and keep in mind, you have if you have to pattern match, you need a little extra fabric there. So, um, like I said, this is a twill, but it has a jacquard. So it's like a jacquard twill, which is interesting because I don't think I've ever seen one before. But um, that's what this is. I thought this design was flocked on, but as I look, it's actually woven into there. So it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, you can pick whatever you like. Um, so take your, uh, get your pattern and you can take that to the store with you and, um, or you can download the little envelope back image from Simplicity's website, put it on your phone and take that to the store and um, choose your fabric. So um, definitely a woven, not a knit. So make sure it's not a stretchy fabric. And um, we will start our sew along next week. Now, in uh, zippers, you want to get an invisible zipper, um, and there, that's going to be super easy to put in, so don't, don't panic. I'm going to show you exactly how, and um, that's one of our things that we need to tackle. So, um, so yeah, that's basically all I wanted to go over today. It's a short and sweet one today. Um, so go ahead, and I'm going to leave the links to all of the Dorothy's Daughter um, Friday Sewing School documents below, the basic uh, skills list, the basic tools list, the um, curved and straight lines practice sheets. I'm going to link those below and um, download away, print it as many times as you need to print, and um, yeah, so go back and see where we are. If you're just joining us in the last few videos, because we have had a kind of a surge of people here in the last month or so, um, if you're just joining us, if you want to go back to the beginning, this would be a good day to do it because the cadence dress, which was our um, which was our first sew along, is um, five dollars on Love Notions website today. So, if you want to go back to the beginning and do the very first project. Um, that would be a good place to start. Um, I think it'll just be on sale today. Today is August 23rd, 2019. All right, so have a wonderful day. Have a great weekend, and I will see you all on Tuesday. Happy sewing.